What's up? My name is Paddy Graham. I'm a pro skier from the UK. Today, I'm going to teach you how to get a little bit of air in the backcountry. So if you're tuning in to watch this video, you must be quite an ambitious skier. Otherwise, why would you have clicked on it? Getting air in the backcountry is really fun. You can hit cliffs, wind lips, and backcountry jumps. Today, we're going to show you how to get some easy air out there. Remember, when you're skiing in the backcountry, you always have the right safety equipment. Your probe, your shovel, and your transceiver. And remember, never ski alone. Take your friends with you so you're prepared for every condition. They're big, they're impressive. You've seen them in the movies. That's right, I'm talking about cliffs. They're all over the mountain, and it's something great to do in the backcountry to really pick up your game. But don't rush into things too fast. There are a few things to consider. The good news about cliffs is that you can work your way up in size, so start small. So generally, I'd say around a two meter cliff with a good steep landing and lots of soft snow is a pretty good way to go. If you are gonna hit a cliff, remember to scout it first. You need to get as much information about that thing as possible. Check the takeoff, check the landing, and look at it from the side. Something really important to do is to check the snow quality on the landing, because you don't want to be jumping into something that's really icy. You want it to be nice and soft. And also, remember to keep an eye out for bumps and rocks in landings, because that is not going to end well. When you start hitting cliffs, it's a good idea to do straight airs and stay in a nice, compact, tucked up position in the air. So then when you come into the landing, you can start to extend again and feel, feel the landing and then you can, can suck that landing up and really get the landing good. Think of it as a four point landing. Feet and arms out in front to land at the same time. This means that you're gonna keep your weight central, if not, just a little bit back because you don't want a front punch. That is gonna to lead to a ragdoll. If you don't know what a ragdoll is, check this out. Be careful when you jump off a cliff. If you're going for grabs, it might put you off balance. So always keep that in mind. Balance is key, especially when landing. Let's be honest, cliffs can be pretty intimidating. Luckily, nature gives you another opportunity to do something a little bit more mellow with a little less consequence, the windlet. Like the name implies, windlips are formed by the wind. So keep your eyes peeled on little bumps, little jumps, and yeah, wind lips. To make life easier when you're hitting a wind lip for the first time, or just any time, you can sidestep the takeoff. And then you're gonna know exactly how hard it is and how steep it is. Because from afar, wind lips can sometimes be misleading. Something I've learned over the years is that the steeper the wind lip, the better it is to do my favorite trick, the backflip. has become the most famous person on the hill on a powder day. The Hollywood backflip. Right underneath a chairlift, the crowd will go wild. <laughs> 